there is a, a new man that's uh, that's coming around, and he's very, very darling. And it's, well, I think what I see as an actress in playing Lindsay, and also hopefully as an audience for you will too. It's um, you really want her to be happy, obviously, and you think, yeah, this guy could actually make that happen for her. Hi, Alyssa. I think she balances her love life and her work by um, having sex on her desk. You know, this question is so important to me because it's really a lot with women deal with. I had uh, a friend of a friend who really identified with Claire because Claire was able apparently to be able to juggle her home life and her work life, a very demanding home life and a very demanding work life. And I mean it's something that we as women deal with. Hi Kristen. <laughs> yeah it is fabulous to be back on TV. We have uh, some new writers who uh, are pushing us to push the envelope a little more. So uh, in these next couple of episodes, it, it, gets, um, it gets a little more intense uh, here in San Francisco. It's kind of a weird story. We were in the morgue. And there was a line that I, th I think it was supposed to be a joke line, but I, I guess they thought it was a little bit dirty. So they had written like four alternate lines, which I, I did all of them, and it was finally on like the fourth one. I just lost it and started laughing really hard, which is bad because then you start kind of laughing because you're laughing, and we're also in the morgue, and there's like a dead body there, so that was kind of inappropriate too. Uh, but yeah, it took me a few minutes to um, control myself. <laughs> But there certainly are moments between uh, Rob Estes and Tyrese Allen and myself that we totally mess with each other on camera. Like the other day, we are shooting something and it's a crucial, crucial moment in Lindsay's life and her career, in the crime that they're, they're after. And I have to sort of, you know, see what's going on here, cameras here, and I turn around and have to look at Tyrese. And, and so it goes from the back of my head to Tyrese's face and I, go through this thing and camera's here and I turn around and look at him and just go <laughs> and I couldn't even for seven or eight I couldn't even keep a straight face. Finally they were just like, she's no help at all. We have to come in on Tyrese. <laughs> because, you know, and he he can keep a straight face through anything. That's so it's kind of become a challenge now trying to mess Tyrese up. Steve, my favorite book is uh, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. My favorite book is Franny and Zoe. Uh, I've read it like a thousand times. I guess it would be a tie uh, between Old Man and the Sea and uh, Anne Rand's Fountainhead. My favorite book is a book called Sex, Time, and Power by this guy named Leonard Schlein. And what it talks about is the anthropological history of mating and why people mate, why guys like girls and why girls like guys. Well, Steve, I like biographies and autobiographies, and I guess my favorite autobiography is uh, the, the uh, uh, autobiography of Malcolm X, because he, he, had to, he overcame so much. Actually, you know what? It's, uh, it's a book that I read um, back when I was in grade school, uh, Where the Red Fern Grows. That is, and always has been, my favorite, favorite book. It's, um, it's fantastic. If you haven't read it, you should. Thank you.